this is Stampy, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video, and another video inside of Stampy's uh, lovely world. Today in this video, I am going to be joined by Liebear! I can see a tiny bit of- oh, there you go, that's it! P poke out a little bit more, Liebear! A little bit forward, a little bit forward, there we go! <laughs> I see your nose poke through first, and then the rest of your face. Right, go, go, go back again, go, go, go back in a little bit, and come forward as slowly as you can. You'll see that you see the nose first, and then gradually the, the rest of his face uh, just starts appearing until we can see a complete Liebear. There he is! Hello, Liebear! Good morning! It's good to see you today, and it's good to see you uh, for a few reasons. One, because I always like to see you, and it's good to, to have fun and build things together. Uh, but mainly, uh, because when I see you in the morning, it means that it's almost cake time, which means I can have my breakfast and set myself up for the rest of the day. They always say uh, that breakfast is the most important meal of the day, and that's why I always make it my best meal and have a big cake. Nom 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 nom. Ah, delicious. Right, we can't waste any time today, Lee Bear. We have a busy schedule, and I'm going to explain why uh, very soon. So let's go in and, uh, as, uh, as fast as we can, uh, race over to the Love Garden, then we're going to race to the Doghouse, and then uh, we're going to be racing to the, the Fun Land. Uh, but yeah, first thing is Love Garden, and I'm adding uh, two people today. I'm adding William and Arthur, and that's because they sent me this picture of their joint fourth birthday. And you can see they've got Stampy Cat t-shirts, uh, they've got diamond swords, and then there's a pig, a creeper, Lee Bear and me! And I thought they were a really uh, amazing models, uh, they seem to be having so much fun. I wanted to say thank you very much uh, for sending me the, the pictures, William and Arthur, and welcome to my love garden! Right then, Lee Bear, uh, we are actually racing to the, the doghouse, as we always do, uh, so let's go and uh, have a straightforward, fast as we can, hopefully set the world record race uh, to the, the doghouse. So let's begin in three, two, one, go, 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 go! Right, let's try and go a, a different route, let's try and uh, keep going different routes and see which is uh, going to be the, the fastest. So I can see there Lieber outside of the, the window. I can see his legs there bounding along as he's running to the, the doghouse. And I actually think uh, that I am going a uh, much slower route here. So I don't think uh, that I'm going to be choosing today's dog. And is Lieber in here? I can't see him. Oh, yes, he is. Only just. <laughs> Only just Lieber uh, was able to, to beat me then. And so that means uh, he is uh, going to be able to, to decide uh, which dog I am going to, to have joining me today. And uh, who, who are you going for? Yeah, are you going for? Are you going for Ben? Is that is that your your final decision, Lee Bear? You only have a few seconds to change your mind, but no, he does not want to change his mind, which means uh, Benji is going to be joining us in this video. Right, Lee Bear, we're having another race to the Funland, and we're not actually racing against each other; we are racing against the clock. And that is because uh, what I'm going to try and do this episode is try and one. 100% build a mini game in just one episode. Normally it takes me at least two, uh, if not more, and hello sheep, uh, yeah, to, uh, to build a mini game. But I am going to go and try and build this mini game in entirely uh, one episode only. So uh, the aim of the game is is that we're going to 100% build it in this episode, and then in the next episode we can go straight into having an entire episode playing it. And uh, what we're going to be building is the uh, the successor to um, Sheep Scramble. Do you remember Sheep Scramble? It's a mini game I built a while ago, and in the the video uh, I did mention that I would like to to build uh, another version of it uh, just because it's really good fun. So we're building a new and improved version uh, of a sheep scramble and I will explain uh, why it's new and improved when we're building it uh, but because it is kind of a new game uh, we have came up with a new name and uh, that is going to be called sheep shuffle uh, so in this episode we are going to go and try and completely finish building my sheep shuffle mini game and uh, it's uh, in concept uh, it's the uh, the same as sheep scramble basically there's going to be a lot of sheep that are going to be dyed different colors and uh, then we're going to shear them all and you need to try and sort them uh, into different pens uh, while they don't have wool and uh, try and get the the right color sheep into the right color pen uh, while trying to remember which color is which and i can just about uh, see all of the uh, the sheep on the uh, the horizon here. They're uh, hanging out at the moment uh, inside of the, the wiggly worm game because they're not needed yet. And so yeah, you need to try and sort them all out, and then when their wool grows back, uh, you can see just how uh, well you you did. And the the start of the game is actually going to look uh, the the same as the the old version. So I'm going to have a, a big sheep's face uh, in the middle here. So I need to go one, two. Uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then eight in all directions to do a square. So I want to go uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And so yeah, the very centre of the game is just going to be a, a big sheep's head, and then we're going to have different areas uh, going off in uh, each side. 
uh, which are going to be the uh, the different coloured pens. But we're doing it differently uh, because one of the the big troubles with the last game uh, was all of the the redstone. Uh, basically, we had uh, pistons getting pushed up and down, pushing up and down fences, and that was the way you trap them in. And it was a little bit annoying. It was a bit of a, a pain. I don't think it worked particularly well. It was a fun game, but I think that was the the one bit I didn't like. And so this time uh, we've come up with a uh, a new method uh, for trapping in the the sheep, uh, which I think uh, is a, a lot better. But first, uh, uh, let's go and uh, try and build the the. Uh, the middle here so this is basically uh, just going to be the the face of a, uh, a minecraft sheep so they have of course uh, got white wool all the way around the outside like this uh, so let's go and uh, fill in all of this uh, wall uh, while lee bear uh, tries to keep benji entertained <laughs> and then the uh, the top of the uh, the sheep's head is going to go out two blocks here and then we can also go out uh, a couple blocks here and uh, a couple blocks here. And uh, we can then go and try and do the, the sheep mouth. And the, the mouth uh, is just going to be made out of red wool. I just need to do a little square down there. And uh, that is the, the mouth of the, the sheep. You can kind of see already uh, what it's going to end up looking like. And so now all I need to do is uh, go and try and do... Uh, let's do the, the eyes next, shall we? Uh, so they kind of got a little bit of a uh, derpy eyes. They're kind of looking off in two different random directions. But <laughs> I think they, uh, they look quite cute. And then... If we just go and fill in with all of this pink wool, uh, the actual face of the sheep, uh, we should have our very own sheep face in the uh, the middle of the game. So this is where uh, all of the, the sheep uh, are going to, to be shot, uh, starting. And so now all we need to do is go and try and build the, the pens uh, in a different direction. So I'm going to go and start building the uh, the yellow one uh, down here. Uh, Lieber, if you go and build the uh, the red one on the, the opposite side uh, over there, uh, we should try and get this uh, dung uh, in uh, just one episode is the, the plan. And I think... If I kept with the uh, the old method and uh, did it uh, so that I used all the, the redstone, uh, there would be no way uh, that I'd be able to, to build it uh, in just one episode. But my new method uh, is actually uh, a lot easier, so I guess I might as well uh, explain what it is. Let me just first build this wall out because I need to count again. So I'm going to go uh, out 10 uh, in this direction. It should bring me right next to the, the path, actually. So I want to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There we go. So there's just uh, a few blocks, uh, so it's uh, in line with the, the game over there, and then back in this direction so yeah the way it's going to work now is instead of using wheat and pistons we are going to be using ropes or are they ropes or leads are they called i think i think they're called ropes and uh, yeah these are basically going to be used uh, to, to be able to, to pull the sheep into your pen and then instead of trapping them in with pistons you can just tie the uh, the rope to fence posts uh, which i'm going to be putting uh, inside of the the pens and then that way uh, the the the, uh, the sheep are going to be really easily trapped in so in the the old game uh, instead of these walls uh, i had uh, fences around the entire way around the outside uh, but instead we're going to do it with a uh, wall uh, just one because it looks uh, a little bit prettier and uh, also uh, because then we can just have the the two fences in the middle uh, which are going to be used uh, to kind of mark uh, where you need to go and actually trap the the sheep in so uh, at the very end here uh, this is where the the grass is going to be so it's going to be grass uh, the entire end so I'm just going to do one strip of yellow wool uh, just to, to mark where that is going to start and uh, fill in the, the dirt which I accidentally broke away. And then I need to do two fences in the, the back down there. So let me go and uh, make a, a crafting table and I can go and place this down here and I can go and make uh, all of this wood into some sticks uh, so I can make myself uh, a few fences. Uh, I think I might need a little bit later on but this will be okay for now. So I want to do one fence there and one fence there. So what you're going to do is you're going to be guiding all of the, the sheep from the middle and uh, bringing them into this pen and then you go and uh, tie them down to here and because there's all grass on the floor, uh, the, the sheep will eventually eat the grass and grow back their wool. And uh, then you can see how many points you get. Because it's exciting, because you don't know how well you've done immediately. You pull the sheep in, and you can think you've done well, but you don't know at all uh, until the... Um until they've grown all their wool back and you can see just uh, exactly uh, how well you've done so it's always quite an uh, exciting and tense at the end uh, when you're just watching the the sheep and waiting for them to grow their wool back uh, just to see uh, how well you actually did so there we go uh, this is a uh, one half done here uh, lee bear's doing a, a good job on the the red side over there uh, so i guess i should go and start doing one of the the other sides we've also got a uh, a blue side and uh, a green side we're going to do so i'm going to go and i do i do the green side going in this direction where benji is so benji uh, do you want to come and uh, stand over here uh, now let's, let's let Benji wander around for a bit. I don't want to uh, make him have to, to sit down for the, the entire episode. So once again, I need to go out 10 in this direction. So I want to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then I just want to go along here. This is, of course, going to be 8, uh, just so it's uh, in line uh, with the, the rest here. And uh, there's also a new way I've come up with uh, for getting inside and outside uh, of the uh, the pen. Uh, because of uh, in the, the last one, uh, in Sheep's Scramble, uh, I used uh, fences, and uh, then I had 
fence gate, so you could get in and out, uh, but the, the sheep couldn't. Uh, but of course, on this, I couldn't do that, and I thought that if I put a door in, it would just look a little bit weird and ugly, and so I've also come up with a, uh, a new method. Uh, so that we can easily jump in and out of the, the pens, uh, but the sheep have to, to stay put, because otherwise we're just going to have uh, colourful sheep wandering all over the, the fun land. And as cool as that might seem, <laughs> it won't be much fun when we go and play the game and there's no sheep here. So I almost done the wall, and there we go, I've put the, the final block in the, the wall. I just need to go and uh, do the, the same down here. And oh, actually, I realised I did the, the walls in uh, the wrong place, actually. I need to build them uh, one more in like this, uh, because, yeah, I've just done this uh, entire wall in the, the wrong place. Right, I am really against the clock now. I am very determined uh, to get the uh, the entire thing uh, done in just this one episode and mistakes like that uh, are not going to hate but luckily uh, it's uh, it's only uh, a couple walls that are in the the wrong place so if i just go and switch that to here and uh, build it up on this side uh, then we should be uh, okay to, to carry on if i go and build uh, along here like this and then if i just do the the same on the the other side if i go and uh, get rid of uh, this wall here and just move the uh, the entire thing in one uh, i don't think uh, i've lost too much time and it uh, looks like lee bear is uh, hard at work uh, doing the the final side over there the the blue one and uh, we're actually uh, not too far off uh, getting the the entire game complete which is kind of crazy uh, the fact that you can build you know an entire mini game in about 15 minutes and be ready to, to play it immediately the only uh, other thing uh, of course is uh, having to, to gather the the sheep which i did do before the episodes because <laughs> i thought it might get a little bit boring uh, just seeing me running around just trying to, to gather sheep for for 20 minutes <laughs> but it's quite easy you only need to get two and then you can uh, keep breeding them and uh, dyeing them different colors uh, so it's actually uh, not uh, that hard uh, to do anyway so uh, let's go and uh, try and um, uh, finish in these uh, last two sides here and uh, then we can go to bed and then I can do the uh, the final few finishing touches that I've been telling you about and then hopefully uh, we can actually bring some sheep in and uh, have ourselves uh, a little bit of a, a test to go and a little bit of a practice uh, before we have the uh, the sheep shuffle tournament uh, which I'm going to be having in my, my next episode. So let's go and uh, fill in these uh, final few rows and then because it's getting so dark we should uh, go to bed. Uh, we should also think about putting some torches up as well might be a good idea. It getting dark uh, just reminded me. So if we go and uh, for now just jump over this uh, crafting table uh, there's a, uh, a couple beds here uh, right next to my my desert drop game so we can go to bed here and then in the morning i can show you how uh, we're going to be able to get inside and outside uh, of the uh, of the game so getting inside is pretty easy uh, because it doesn't really matter because we don't have to worry about sheep escaping and things i guess other sheep could break into the game <laughs> but that's not so much of a problem uh, but what i do need to do is i need to make some carpets and i'm going to make some i'm going to make some yellow carpets i'm going to make some um, uh, blue carpets. I'm also going to make some green carpets and some red carpets and uh, you'll see why in uh, just one second. So let me go and uh, grab all of my carpets here like this and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put down a blue one there and a yellow one on top of it and then all we need to do is go and jump over the carpets and that's how we get in the game. So I'm going to go around uh, the entire outside here and I'm going to do this around the entire outside. So I'm going to do whatever colors on the left on the bottom and then whatever colors on the right on the, the top there just like that and so this way uh, we can easily jump up and get into the game and then also if other people are playing uh, you can kind of jump up onto the walls uh, so you can kind of watch what they're doing uh, without getting into uh, getting in the way so that way uh, we don't need the uh, the huge lookout tower uh, which i used when i did the the sheep scramble game and uh, so that's uh, all four sides done uh, so that's how we can um, get into the game uh, but i haven't shown you how we're going to actually get out of the game so uh, what i need to do is i'm going to grab uh, these fences and i'm going to put them in all four corners here and the idea is that we can jump up on the fences to get out uh, but as Lee Bear is about to demonstrate you can't actually jump on fences so no matter uh, how hard uh, Lee Bear tries and he's trying very hard uh, he's not going to be able to jump up on top of the fence but if I put a carpet on top of the fence like this Lee Bear do you want to go and have a, another go see if you can jump over and he can do it easily <laughs> so I'm actually not going to be using yellow carpet though I'm going to be using a uh, white carpet uh, so it fits in with the uh, the rest of the the sheep face as if I go and uh, make four of these white white carpets uh, that's made three there we go I've got six I've got a few spare but I can put these uh, on top here and so this way uh, when you want to get inside and out of the game uh, we can jump up on top of the carpet but the sheep or any other animal can't so if I demonstrate here Benji have you come and follow me Benji Be Benji I'm excuse, excuse me Benji Benji come, Benji come on 
Come on, you've been in my face the entire episode, and when I actually want you to follow, uh, follow me, you don't. <laughs> but basically, yeah, you'll see that if Benji tried to, to get up on top of this fence, uh, he couldn't. Uh, but he doesn't seem to be particularly interested. He's more excited about this crafting table than my carpets and fences at the moment. <laughs> anyway, uh, we have now built uh, everything that we need to build, uh, apart from putting up uh, maybe a few torches. Uh, it's probably time to um, uh, go and get the sheep. But to do that, I need to make ropes. And to make ropes, I need a crafting table. So sorry, Lee Bat, you're going to have to put the, uh, the crafting table uh, right back down. Uh, just so I can make some ropes. And I've never uh, really made ropes before, but they're really easy to make. All you need is uh, slime balls and string. Uh, so let's go and uh, see how many ropes I can make with this. I really only need six, uh, but it's always good to, to have a, a few spare. So uh, let's just go into hold A and see how many we end up, end up with. There we go. We have 24 ropes. So let's go and uh, throw 12 of these to Lee Bear, and I can keep the, the other 12 on me. And we need to now try and get the uh, the sheep into the uh, into the, the pen. So uh, what I'm going to do for now is I'm just going to break open a, a little area here, uh, just so there's a little uh, doorway to get the, the sheep in. Uh, but we can fill that up later. And uh, let's go and try and grab as many sheep as we can can you carry more than one sheep at a time can you like link a, a few of them up oh, i think you can let's see if i can just go and take uh, as many of these sheep in uh, together in a, at one time so if you get uh, any ones that i uh, have left behind lee bear uh, we'll see how many of these sheep we can carry in at the uh, the same time so come on sheep come on getting them through the uh, the fence gate is the tough bit look at them all jumping up and down <laughs> my big colorful flock of sheep all right i need to try and uh, get them all through the uh, the gate uh, at first there we go i've almost got all of them here there's the one green one that doesn't want to come in and uh, maybe if you break away a little bit of the uh, the fence there Lee Bear. Uh, hopefully I'm going to be able to, to get them all to, to come through. You can see they want to. They're trying as hard as they can. Let, let's go and try, let's try and pull them all the way uh, away from the, the fence and there we go. Lee Bear can uh, safely break uh, away a little bit of it and then I can go and try and carry on uh, bringing uh, all the, the sheep to me. There are a, a couple here which I've left behind so I'm going to go and grab them as well and uh, now I can go and uh, take my big flock of sheep uh, into the, the pen. Look at them all following me. <laughs> and so this is actually uh, kind of like uh, how we're going to be playing the game. You're going to be trying to grab uh, two of each color and uh, bring them uh, into the uh, the pens uh, where they they need to be so for now uh, let's just try and get all of them inside of the game uh, there's two blue ones there and maybe the blue ones can jump over the the carpets is that gonna work nope that doesn't seem to be to be working let's try and uh, uh, drop off some of these sheep and I can go and try and get the uh, the rest of the the remaining ones uh, inside so I want to get rid of you and uh, the way you get rid of them and if you just uh, press the left trigger uh, on the uh, on the sheep, uh, you're going to be able to, to drop them. So let's try and get these uh, last two blue ones. And uh, we're supposed to have two of every color. I think we got almost all of them, uh, but I think we're missing one red one, I believe. So let me go uh, back this way and uh, see if I can find the, the last remaining sheep. Is it around here somewhere? Here it is. <laughs> it's trying to go and uh, have a, a race with the pigs. Come on. You can't. You stay out of this. You've got to come and uh, join in the other uh, game just like everyone else. You've got to go and uh, join your friends over here. Look at these. <laughs> Look at these yellow ones jumping up and down. Lee Bear's playing a little game of a peekaboo of that one. All right, let's see if we can get this uh, red one inside. There we go. It really wanted to go in there. It was running straight in. Uh, let's try and make it so this yellow one doesn't escape. Let's go and grab him and uh, pull him in as well. There we go. Uh, we now have uh, all of the uh, the sheeps uh, that we uh, that we uh, need uh, for the the game. So what would work is we bring all of the uh, the sheep into the the middle, and uh, you'll need to try and sort them into the pens. Well, tell you what. Rather than telling you what we would do, why don't we go and uh, actually uh, actually do it then? So uh, who's going to go? We have time uh, for one of us to have a game. So would you prefer to take the sheep, or would you prefer? Oh, it looks like he wants to shear them. It looks like uh, I'm going to be the person uh, playing the, the actual game then. So let's go and uh, try and bring the uh, the sheep uh, as roughly into the middle as we can. It doesn't matter too much as long as they're kind of uh, in this uh, area and not uh, specifically inside any pens. And so once they're all uh, roughly in the middle, Lee Bear, uh, you need to go and try and uh, shear them all. And then I need to go and uh, try and put them uh, into, into their pens. So I need to now just watch carefully and uh, try and remember... Uh, which color uh, all of the uh, the sheep are going to be. And then Lee Bear's going to go around and shear them all uh, whenever you're ready, Lee Bear. And then I need to go and try and sort them out uh, into the, the right pen. It looks like he's just trying to get them all into the, the middle. All of the sheep uh, just kind of keep going uh, into the <laughs> into the pens already. It doesn't matter too much about having them all exactly in the middle. It's kind of as long as they're not in the, the right pens already. So Lee Bear, uh, do you want to go and uh, start shearing all of the, the sheep? And uh, I'm not allowed to move any until he's uh, sh uh, was, um, yeah, he's got rid of the, the wall of all of them. And uh, then I need to try and get uh, as many into the, the right pens uh, as I can. So I'm trying to, uh, to keep track 
as much as I can which sheep go into which pens. And now uh, he's got rid of the, the wall on all of them. I need to go and start trying to uh, to put them into some pens. And Libe, you're not allowed to do it. That's not fair. You're not allowed to move them around as well. <laughs> That's not fair. It's not your go. All right. I think this one uh, was already uh, a red one. Uh, so let's put that one down here. I think this one uh, was a green one as well. So let's go and uh, put the uh, the green one uh, over on this one here. So you can see I just tie them to the defense post and they go straight to, to where they need to go. And I know there was two yellow ones walking around together. So let's guess it was maybe these two. And uh, let's put these two uh, down here on the, the yellow post. Uh, I think uh, I've already put one on there. Uh, so let's go and uh, take this one. And uh, I'm kind of just guessing at this point. I think this one might have been blue. Let's assume this one was a, a blue one. I don't think I did a, a very good job of uh, watching uh, when Lee Bear was uh, shearing them. So uh, luckily, uh, this is uh, just like a, a little practice test to go. Uh, so it doesn't matter too much. And oh, oh, this one's wall has grown back already. That is very lucky. So this one uh, needs to go uh, over here to the, uh, the green side. And normally... Normally, uh, when we'll be doing this, uh, I would have a, a time limit as well. So I do have uh, some more uh, spare time than I would uh, normally have. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go and try and sort them all out uh, into their pens. And then we'll let them grow back and we'll see uh, how well I did uh, for this test to go. So let's go and uh, put this one down over here. And then let's go and try and sort out uh, the uh, the final few. I need to tie this one to here. And I think that should be, yep, uh, that is them Them all tied down now. So this is the uh, the exciting part uh, that I told you about, where we just need uh, to watch and uh, wait to see uh, all of the uh, the sheep's wool uh, growing back uh, so I can see how well I did. I reckon, I reckon I got about half of them. That's my guess. My guess is I got about half of them. So that would be uh, eight uh, out of, uh, no, four out of uh, eight of them, I think. Uh, so yeah, that's what I'm guessing. Uh, but now we just need to wait and see. So let's speed up the video until all of the uh, the sheep have grown back their wool Okay, it looks like almost all of the uh, the sheep have grown back their wool, and uh, I don't think my prediction uh, of getting uh, half of them right is going to come true. The green ones are good. Look at that. I got two of the green ones straight away. Uh, uh, I don't have any of the ones in the blue ones, uh, but let's go and see uh, over in the, the red ones over there. Also, that red one hasn't grown its wool back yet, but are there any more red ones? Oh, there is a red one there, so that means uh, that one is not going to be a red one. So that's three points. Actually... I think I did it. I think my prediction uh, was exactly right. I got uh, one point there for that yellow one. I got two there for that green one. And then one for the red one over there. And all of the rest of them were wrong. So <laughs> I got exactly 50% uh, uh, of them right. Which is actually uh, not too bad of a score. But you know what? It doesn't matter whatsoever. Because this was just a little bit of a, a tester game. Uh, to show you how the, the game will work. What will matter is the next episode. Uh, where we're going to have the first ever Sheep Shuffle Tournament. And so there'll be a link in the description uh, to that video. Which will be online very soon. But for now, I want to thank you all very much for watching. And I will see you all later. Bye!